It's time for City Beat, your source for all the latest news on the city of Thompson. Only on 1029 CHTF, your radio station. I'm Monica Gould, and this is City Beat. Joining me today is Mayor Dennis Fenske. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. If you have a question for the mayor, give us a call at 677-8181 or email us at chtm at arcticradio.ca. To start off, anything uh, going on in the city? Uh, a whole lot of stuff, but uh, I'll start it off with the safety aspect in regards to construction zones. Lots of construction on Cree Road and the, in the uh, adjoining areas. I would caution drivers that uh, because of the detours that uh, are taking you off the main road of Cree Road and you're on to side streets and parking lots, uh, just uh, slow down. There's pedestrian traffic in the parking lots. There's uh, uh, residential traffic on the residential streets. So slow down, take your time. It doesn't take too long to get across town. So uh, just uh, be aware of, uh, of uh, circumstances uh, when you're driving as you're avoiding Cree Road. So uh, uh, that'll go on for the next couple weeks into the school year, which leads, in, leads me into my next safety issue in regards to the kids are returning to, uh, to school uh, in early September. Uh, we're in the process right now of repainting all the crosswalks in front of all the schools. So just be aware of the school zones and that are in force as of the uh, beginning of sept September. Uh, lots of kids on the streets, uh, so be aware of the kids coming back to school. For sure. Let's talk about that reminder because this technically the first day of school isn't until the second week of September, but the school zone speed limit bylaw, you know, the way it's stated is it st goes into effect. It changes the speed limits starting September 1st. So as a reminder, what is that again? Well, basically that is the bylaw. And the reason it says September 1st is that the return to school date fluctuates every year. Uh, so rather than put a hard date on it, it's September 1st. Um, so uh, just be aware that the school zone uh, is in effect uh, from September 1st to uh, June 30th uh, all year. It's uh, There's specified hours uh, and there's specified schools. Uh, Thompson Drive in front of the R.D. Parker. Uh, is uh, normal traffic uh, speed limits, uh, which is 50 kilometers. It's not a school zone per se from the speed perspective. It's still a school zone as, the, as uh, to the safety aspect of it, so be aware of the students there. But in regards to uh, the deadline or the dates, uh, they are in effect September 1st, so be aware of them as of those dates. Okay, great. And just quickly going back to construction, um, you say it'll still take a couple of weeks. Um, how is it going in general and when can we expect the paving crew to be doing the paving on Cree Road and other areas? Well, those that uh, have been watching the progress, you can see that the uh, the concrete crews are in and they're doing the curb work right now. Once the curb work is, uh, is, is done, which I would assume would be in the next uh, week, 10 days, uh, then the paving crew will come in. At the same time, they're also, uh, you'll notice the preparation for the multi-use paths. Uh, along Thompson Drive and Cree Road. And once those are prepped, uh, we will also have the uh, uh, the paving crew uh, do those as well. So I would say probably by the mid-September will be complete, uh, weather provided uh, that it cooperates with us. So uh, we're looking forward to that. For sure. And do we know for within budget, have there been any uh, challenges along the way that would change potentially, I guess, the cost? Uh, no, no real challenges cost-wise. The only cost has been schedule-wise. Uh, we got rained out a couple days. But uh, other than that, uh, knock on wood, we uh, we are pr proceeding on schedule uh, as per the outline of the, of the program and the, and the project. Uh, so uh, keeping our fingers crossed that that'll continue till, uh, till completion. Great. Now, uh, today you've declared it to be Prostate Cancer Awareness Month for the month of September. Can you talk about, um, you know, is there a reason why anything you hope to achieve by bringing awareness to this type of cancer? Well, this this type of cancer is, is uh, not preventable, but it's treatable if caught early. And so that's why we, we put the notice out in regards to prost uh, prostate cancers. It's it's one of the cancers, as I said, that can be treated early if, if detected early. So that's the uh, the emphasis is, uh, is um, uh, to, to make sure that, uh, uh, you're getting uh, prostate uh, checked for the, for that reason. Um, also in September, uh, I mean, uh, we're also looking at the Terry Fox run, uh, which is uh, goes to support research in cancer. Uh, so we, we want to emphasize that as well. Uh, and along that line, I just want to talk about the uh, the challenge that we've been issued with by Port, the mayor of Port Coquitlam across Canada. Uh, 35 million people in Canada, 35th anniversary of Terry Fox run. The goal is to raise $35 million. For the city of Thompson, it's $1 per person, 13123 So I have a website that's up. Uh, you can just go to uh, terryfoxrun.ca uh, and search by my name, and you'll come up to my site, and you can donate online. Or you can. Uh, there'll be uh, donation spots uh, developed next week, uh, it, probably at City Hall and TRCC and Norplex Pool to start with, uh, that you can donate, and I'm sure that we can reach our goal of $13,123. 
for sure. And that's as a reminder for listeners, the Turf Fox Run is on September 20th. Uh, if, you, if you have a question for the mayor, call us at 677-8181 or email us at chtm at arcticradio.ca. Now, as we've been saying, it's the nearing of uh, end of the summer, school starting soon, and that comes with a closure of a few things. Uh, do you know when the splash pad is closing? The splash pad, uh, offhand, I don't have a, uh, a drop-dead date for that. I believe it's weather-related. Um, so we'll keep the general public in, informed in, in that regard. But the other closures that are happening is the uh, summer day camps. Uh, the last camp is at, it's happening now at Juniper School, uh, and it's finishing on Friday. Uh, the concerts in the park, which are held at McLean Park, the, uh, the last one is this Friday on the 28th. The artist is Jeanette Kimball at noon, uh, playing the flute. Uh, so bring a bring a lunch and a lawn chair, enjoy some good music. Uh, again, the last concert in the park at McLean Park, uh, noon on Friday. And how did uh, concerts in the park go this year? Would you say? Well, I think for overall, uh, pretty well. Uh, I think it's uh, it's one of the things that's growing. Uh, we want to get general uh, public out. Uh, we I think we were cancelled, not cancelled. We were uh, moved to a new location a couple times this summer due to to rain, but. Uh, it's a great venue. Uh, we have a nice little stage there. It's a nice amphitheater uh, on, a, on, a, on a nice day. The artists have been fantastic. So it's one thing that we'll continue to do and to continue to, to grow. And I, I'd like to, uh, to thank our sponsors that have assisted with, with the artists uh, in, in having them all summer. So it's a program that's well worth it and, and brings to the quality of life in our community. And this Saturday, you guys are also hosting a new event called Party in the Park. Can you tell us about that? Uh, basically, uh, it, it, it's uh, kind of like uh, try to, to do the, uh, the the party atmosphere of the summer. It's the last kick at the can before we get back to school and uh, shut down completes and all that. So uh, we're looking for just a, a great public event uh, in the park uh, at McLean Park. For sure. And the Health and Leisure Mart is coming up, and the city's looking for vendors. What kind of vendors does the city look for? Well, the Health and Leisure is, is uh, recreation and uh, sport and fitness and, uh, and basically uh, life skills uh, orientated. So those are the type of vendors that if you're providing uh, programs that, uh, that offer uh, quality of life uh, programming or in regards to the food venues, things like that, uh, that are healthy choices, uh, uh, health related, uh, anything health related uh, would be uh, would it be a fit for that weekend. Great. Now, before we wrap up, anything else you'd like to mention? Uh, just again, the pool shutdown, uh, the annual maintenance shutdown begins on August 30th. We'll be down for uh, for two weeks. Uh, then we'll be back up and running for the school year. So just be aware of that. If you're an avid swimmer, uh, the pool is not available as of August 30th. Other than that, just want to uh, continue to wish everybody a safe and happy uh, summer. It's coming to a close quickly, but enjoy the, the last uh, uh, weekends that we have in place. And uh, everybody have a safe weekend. Great. That's this edition of City Beat. Join us next Thursday around 11.30 for more on what's happening around the city and City Hall. For 1029 CHTM, I'm Monica Gould. City Beat. We'll be back next Thursday morning at 11.30.